It's a fake cup time as Grimsby Town are about to go into battle with uh, National League Wealdstone. And uh, all we can say about that is um, it's a no win situation for the Mariners, is the, the way I put these kind of games. Uh, I'm going to give you a little bit of a head to head rundown and uh, a little bit of news from David Artel's pre match and uh, a little bit basically my general thoughts about the game um, so let's uh, let's start shall we we'll go through the main stats I use soccerpunter.com as the uh, the way that I get most of my relevant stats against uh, both and uh, we will start with um, it as follows. Uh, this is going to be obviously first game in the uh, in the FA Cup this season. Uh, Wilson obviously qualified in the fourth qualifier to uh, get into this. The overall form of both sides, though, is pretty much identical. <laughs> Two wins, two defeats, and a draw for both teams. So, pretty much identical stuff. Uh, unpredictability. We have only played each other twice. Uh, so, it's one win apiece between the two sides. Uh, in the two games, obviously, it's 2-2 two -two overall in score and that is because uh, we play each other in the 21-22 season that uh, the National League uh, playoff Lexham season shall we say uh, and at Wheelston we fell to a 1-0 uh, defeat in the October of 2021 while we Last time we played them at Blundell Park, we beat them by two goals to one. Um, so, that was back in the January of 2022. So, again, not many stats in this. If you did want to flutter on it, um, at certain places, you can get Grimsby at 21 to 40. Uh, Wilston are obviously the outsiders at 17 to 4. The draw being 7-2. to two. Um, Can't really give much stats about from the top goal scorer in, in the competition for Wilston is Alex Reed. So I'm sure if he's available that um, he will uh, want to get on the score sheet if he can. Uh, the Mariners are getting some injuries back. Um, uh, it looks like Luca Barrington, who was out at the uh, midweek, will probably be back in for this game uh, against um, against Wilston. So uh, it's um, you know a big um, a big game. Now, obviously, there'll be no replays after uh, ninety minutes of this. So if it uh, does get to a draw it will go to extra time and penalties if needed um, so and Wilson are going to feel uh, a bit hopeful I think um, with uh, the Mariners recent home form uh, four straight defeats on the bounce at home for the Mariners will will give Wilson a uh, a bit of hope really that they can spring a surprise and like I said at the beginning of the video it's a no win kind of game for Grimsby really and it always is when you play teams like Wilston we're the highest ranked team uh, out of the two so obviously Grimsby are expected to win this game um, and the only real story is if Wilston um Wilson do the job you know at the end of the day if Grimsby Wilson 
it's supposed to happen. Uh, but we have to be professional. We have to be. Uh, we have to be prepared. We have to be organised because, as I said, we're the only team that can lose in this in, in, in this scenario. And that always happens whenever uh, a league side plays a non-league side. You know, it's always like that. You know, it's gonna be a game of um, gonna be a game of could be a game of anything. I think we have to literally prove that we can put a team to the sword. Uh, against Wilston and, and really it's how we start we have to get the first we have to get the first goal we just have to um, because the longer Wilston can can be in it and feel in it the edgier the crowd's going to become um, and it will I think if we if we don't I honestly think that that will happen that uh, we we need to impose ourselves upon Wilston. You know, on, on paper, we've got the better players. You know, Danny Rose, Denver Hume, Donovan Wilson, Justin Abiquu, um Harvey Rogers. We've got whatever team that we put out, we should have more than enough to uh, beat Wilston. But as we know, being the underdog in the, the season where we made the quarterfinals, it, it doesn't guarantee you anything. Um, and I think Wilson can play with, with no pressure. And they'll probably look at our, our form in, in recent times. Uh, apparently David and um, Sean... Went to Wilton to watch them. I think it was last last Tuesday, or the Tuesday before. So they have watched them and seen, you know, what uh, what a good side they said they're a good side. Well, uh, National League's a good level, so I think you know, but they are they are a part time team, so um, you know, we, whether he's thinking about trying to get our, our passing tempo up and maybe try and wear where we all stone out I had to get teeth in there uh, I don't know that, that might be his idea to try and get you know try to tire Wilston out and um, we'll have to wait and see what he does um, I think uh, we could see Donovan Wilson start up front I think uh I don't know whether he'll start Danny Rose. I think he's got to start Danny. He might even go with a three up top. You know, Donovan, Justin and Rose. It could be a three he plays up top. But um, then again, no. When I think about it, he'll probably start with Justin and Danny uh, as the front two. Uh, I don't think there'll be a mass load of changes um, from the last league game. Um... So it could be a, uh, it could be quite a tense affair, really, uh, unless Gunsby take the game by the scruff of the neck, which I haven't seen them do enough of this year. But I think with this one, I think you've got to take it by the scruff of the neck. And you can't give Wheelston anything to sort of hang on to. Uh, because I think the longer we do that, the more confident they're going to feel, you know. And if they can get, they, they're going to probably counter-attack us. Right? That'll be Wilston's plan. So, you know, we have to be clinical. Something that we haven't been this season. We have to be clinical. Obviously, players are coming back. Uh, John Davis is not far away now as such uh, still a little while away but he's getting closer 
Uh, as is Curtis Thompson, he's getting closer. Um, so it's it's one of those games. I'm going to give my prediction now as to what I think is going to happen, and I don't know because it's going to be at home, isn't it? So we don't know. I'm I'm going to say for this one. Uh, I'm going to say 3-0 in favour of Grimsby. Um, that again might be my heart of ruling my head. Um, but, you know, like I say, it's about imposing um, uh, posing our will on, uh, on Wilston and trying to, to break the resistance. Uh, if we let Wilson get in early, we could be in for a long, long afternoon. So, I'm saying 3-0 uh, for this. Um, and hopefully that will see us through to round two of the competition. Uh, but, you know, it, it's it's a game that will still be thriving on, I think. The crowd in Blundell Park, if if we don't start too well, will start to get a little bit edgy. So let's hope we get a performance. Um, just before I finish, um, uh, Trevor Weimar um, sadly passed away. Uh, it was announced yesterday. Uh, a former Mariners player who played between 1980 and 1984, played 95 uh, games for the Mariners. Score was about 20 goals or so for, for Grimsby. Uh, obviously an absolute legend at Ipswich Town and uh, Bobby Robson's uh, team. So uh, it's very sad news. Obviously before my time, uh, Trevor was there, but um, I think it uh, very sad news to know that a former Mariner has passed away and a, a very good player uh, I've seen some footage of of, of Trevor basically uh, more in an Ipswich shirt that's easy to find uh, in fact I watched uh, I watched one of his uh, uh, best performances in an Ipswich shirt um, where he scored two goals in a 3-3 draw uh, with Liverpool back in 1976 um, and they ne they you know they went behind three times in that game um, and but he was always well liked I had uh, an interview um, with Trevor that Lady Humberside did about 10 years ago um, and I'm sure if everyone's heard that sound bite uh, he had the choice between um, we got him from Toronto White Gates um, back in uh, you know back in 1980 uh, and uh, he had the choice of Middlesbrough or um, or Grimsby and he chose Grimsby which um, you know for a former England international um you know, to choose Grimsby and to spend uh, four years at the club, you know, towards the end of his career, you know, and that, you know, but what I've read about him and what I've, what I've seen about him, he was, uh, he was really respected here at Grimsby and um, uh, really some, some, Sad news uh, to put this on the end of this preview, but I just thought I'd want to mention that uh, Trevor Weimar sadly passing away um, the other day, unfortunately, at the age of 76. And um, so this one is for him. We're going to say this one is for him, um, and hopefully um, he'll be looking down on all his former clubs, especially Ipswich, because obviously his affiliation with Ipswich, and hopefully we can give him, as uh, as the Mariners now, can give um, uh, a fitting tribute to Trevor, as uh, 
we go in uh, in the battle with uh, Wilson and uh, we look to try and get through to round two so um, it, like I said, it's, it's sad news to bring you out at the end of this preview but I did want to mention Trevor and um, uh, send my condolences to uh, and I'm sure everyone at the clubs condolences towards Trevor's family and uh, friends and uh, all clubs that was uh, affiliated uh, with Mr. Weimar um, in his in his career so um, uh, rest in peace sir and we hope uh, the Grimsby side of your career can um, uh, can give you a good uh, tribute and performance for tomorrow so guys that's the preview done from me uh, do leave me your comments down below and let me know what you think will happen uh, do you think we're going to be able to avoid a uh, cup upset it's called I, I don't believe in upsets if you know what I mean because I think that you know if you um, approach things right you will uh, you should you should win a game you should win uh, but you know the FA Cup is made for things like this isn't it so let me know what you guys think and uh, what do you think the scoreline is going to be and what would your team be for uh, for this coming game as well so let me know down below what you think like share subscribe comment and once again uh, I will see you um, with a review of the game and uh, just one final time uh, I, I would like to say my condolences to the family of Trevor Weimark who sadly passed away this week uh, uh, and uh, hopefully uh, Grinsby can do him proud um, and get a win in the FA Cup in the meantime guys that is me done I will see you with the review of the game I will be at Blundell Park on Saturday uh, if you do see me uh, come and say hello and give me you guys thoughts and tell me what's going to happen and uh, you know hopefully we can avoid defeat on this occasion anyway in the meantime guys like share subscribe and all that good stuff and in the meantime guys up the manners and let's see if we can get to round two bye bye everybody i'll see you soon Ta-da.